Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Matter. We've got a little bit of cold weather here in South Carolina, so I wanted to do a video and just talk about dealing with patients in cold weather. Uh, this is something that can happen all across the country, obviously, and even in your warmer states, you get someone who's submerged in cold water. Um, these things can happen. Uh, hypothermia sets in very quickly. So one of the first things that happens in hypothermia is we start to shiver. That's so our muscle fibers are starting to uh, vibrate and build energy to try to warm our body up. So that's one of the first things that happens. We start to shiver. So when we find a patient like this, obviously we need to try to keep them warm. So covering them up with like a wool blanket, even a mylar blanket, even having hot packs. So you can put them in the uh, armpits, the groin, put them up around the neck. Those little instant hot packs work really well for that. So if you have a patient who has wet clothing, you want to take that wet clothing off by cutting off, of course, removing it, putting a warm blanket around them, putting a mylar blanket on them to protect them and keep them warm. Another thing that you might see with this, someone who's getting hypothermic is confusion. They may start getting really confused, uh, even thinking they're really hot. So they'll start stripping clothes off themselves because they're just getting so confused. They think they're warm and really not. They're really hypothermic. Another thing you can look at doing, if you've got someone who's got frostbite, uh, you can rewarm their hands or toes, things like that. Uh, in warm water, lukewarm water, you don't want to get super hot, but you can kind of gradually start to thaw the fingers and the toes and stuff like that out. So if you don't have any of the little space blankets, little mylar blankets, you may want to look at adding those to your first aid kit. Uh, putting a wool blanket, uh, you can get these at Tractor Supply. I've seen them fairly reasonably priced. Uh, put those in your vehicle to keep you warm. You can build a shelter with them. Uh, there again, you can protect somebody from the cold with just a, a, a nice small wool blanket. So it might be something you want to add to your car kit is a wool blanket and a mylar blanket. You never know when you'll be the first responder you need the right gear and the right training. I hope my husband doesn't die. I mean, it looks like it's very possible. Skinny medic's gonna need a medic soon.